We are at the Texas World Speedway for the 27th and final race of Season 3 of the SCRL NASCAR Legends Series. The number 45 of Riley Sproley Tube will lead us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 07 of TJ Hanley. The rest of the qualifying grid. Coming into this race, we have eight drivers who can mathematically win the championship still. Cole Nixley comes into this race with a 21 point lead over Noah Cars. Third is Matt Johnson, 66 points behind. Fourth, Brian Fox, 72 points behind. Jonathan Reigns, 93. Ebola Wonderly, 102. Daniel Bouchard, 129. And TJ Hanley, 137. Hanley is the furthest away from winning the championship, so he has to have everybody else finish in the back. Cole Nixley will be starting 18th. Noah Cars uh, will be starting 14th. Matt Johnson will be starting 37th. Brian Fox will be starting 15th. Jonathan Reigns will be starting 29th. Ebola Wonderly will be starting 16th. Daniel Bouchard, 35th. And TJ Hanley starting 2nd. There has been only two races run at the Texas World Speedway in this entire series. And the only driver to win at this track is Orius. So he'll be looking to win three years in a row. He'll be starting way back in 41st. So for the 27th and final time, here's the command. Drivers, start your engines! We'll be running 25 laps around this track, which is no longer... Uh, around since it got destroyed or demolished I guess you could say once again more tracks disappearing never never to return it's a sad there's Riley Spurley tubes car yeah someone didn't uh, make good camera angles for this track so this is the final race of the season. It's been a long season. It's been a fun season. We've had different winners almost every single race. And in the season finale, we got eight drivers who can mathematically win the championship. The furthest away to win it is TJ Hanley, of course. So he has to have everybody have problems. So he's the longest shot to win this. Of course, you got some other drivers that are wanting to end the season on a high note, like Riley Sparley Tube, who has never won in his career in this series. Looking for that first win. Jesse Turner looking for a second win of the season. You want it, Charlotte. So, this is your last chance to get a win and, you know, to put on a statement that, hey, I'm a threat. This is it. No one's having any problems either. Pace cars in. And we are racing at Texas World. In the final race of the season. You see a driver already going to the low side. That's the five. Riley Spurley too being pushed by Jesse Turner into the race lead. Oh, here goes Turner to the low side. Oh, Turner got pushed to the middle lane. Riley Spurley 2 tries to block the 24 of Mike Pearson, but he does not do it in time. Here comes the 24. And lead the first lap is the 24 car. One down, 24 to go. Oh, Lord. Here comes the five, Josh Barker. Still looking for his first win of the season. Jay Barker has one in the set. Whoa! I thought I saw a car go to grass. Yep. Oh, my God. 40, 46, zero, zero. Sebastian Torres flipping and flying. Noah Cars, championship contender. Oh, wow. Oh, Jonathan Rain's got a lot of damage. Oh, wow. 
Oh boy. Uh, Cole Nixley, who's our points leader, is now in the race. He will not receive a point for early. You know, because they don't reward points. But if he finishes in, if he finishes in this position right now, uh, he will receive 150 points because that's what the race awards. Wow. Looks like we had a five-car wreck. Well, let's take a look at the first caution. Okay, let's take a look and see what happened. The 76 of Cam Nixley is racing with a 72, and they hook cars. And they head into the grass. Going 175 miles an hour. They're still going full speed, too. They should have slowed down because you know what's going to happen. Hmm. Let's see. Who is the first car to get hit? Oh, the 72. All right. 72 hits the 17. Okay, it makes more sense. I was about to say that that would be team. Would that be team orders by the uh, 76? You know, since he's teammates with Cole Nixley to take out his rivals. Probably not, but the 72 is the one that hit the 64 and the 17. And Sebastian Torres goes hard into the wall and he flips into the air. So does the 22 and the 64. So you got four cars flipping all at the same time, and then Sebastian goes for his. Wild ride. Winless this season. I think he's going to have a winless season because I don't think there's any way he'll be able to win after that. 46, Evan Rudd got involved. Noah Cars, our championship contender. He came in second in the points. Lap two, his car is flipping. And he gets hit by Smash Torres. And Dink Drinker, two wins this season and has had multiple last place finishes. This wasn't his fault. He got hit and then hits the wall and goes flying into the air. Not as bad as Sebastian Torres did. And there goes the 17 again. Then Jonathan Reigns rides the wall. Keeps on going, but he's got a lot of damage. Wow. What a way to start the race. We have two championship contenders get involved. The highest being uh, Noah Cars, who came in second in the points. So this is going to uh, affect his uh, chances. Yeah. So we had a, I'd say, six-car accident in turn three. It's not a big one. It was a mini one. But with the big, you know, flips and all that, it was pretty big. Championship implications. Take it back to the restart. And we are back. <clears throat> the 17 Sebastian Torres will uh, finish dead last. And Dink Drinker is also out of the race, so Dink will finish 41st. Not dead last, but he's in the bottom five, so... Yeah. I also wanted to ask you guys, if anyone follows the last car uh, page that uh, some guy does, you know, where he has the most last place finishes and all that, if you guys want me to do that, you know, just for fun, for the season, uh, I can start doing that too, you know, see who has the most last place finishes, bottom place finishes and whatnot, so... The HBK is uh, on pit row. She uh, was going slow, and she stalled on the track. So, yeah. Cole Nixley, who is our points leader, is your race leader. Second is Kelly Lee. Third is Richard Torres. Fourth, Josh Barker. Fifth, Brian Fox. So, Brian Fox, who's a championship contender who came in fourth in the points, uh, 72 points back, is now in fifth. Sixth is JT Hanley. Seventh, Mike Pearson. Eighth, DJ Curtis. Ninth, Aiden Shepard. And tenth, Riley Spurley Two. Pace car is in. Cole Nixley leads us to the green. 
And the 27, as a matter of fact, is our points leader. However, he has no wins this season. It, that just shows you uh, you can be a possible champion by being consistent. Uh, Austin Dillon won the uh, na real NASCAR uh, Was it Bush? Or was it... X no, it was a uh, nationwide series then, right? He won the real championship with no wins. Cole Nixley is trying to do the same thing. So it is possible to win a championship without any wins. Oh, here comes the five. Josh Barker. Josh Barker. He is winless this season as well. His brother, I believe, Jay, won a race. I mean, I know they're family members. I don't know if it's his brother or whatever. Brian Fox takes the race lead. Fox won a race earlier in the season, didn't he? Uh, no, he did not. So Brian Fox as well as... No, yeah, he did. He won Bristol, sorry. I was looking at my results. DJ Curtis won at Richmond, the second race. Trying to double down, win two races. The field is split up a little bit because some drivers got damaged. And we are three wide for the lead. The 71 of Chuddle, who has just recently got 20 wins, wants to make it 21. Oh my god. Holy shit. I hope... Damn. Oh, my God. We got more. 34, Keckle White Lion, who just won the last race at North Carolina, is involved. Aiden Shepard, Kelly Lee. No championship uh, contenders involved in this wreck. As they cross the start-finish line, the 07 of TJ Hanley is your race leader. And uh, he is in contention for the championship as well. So this is good. This is a good run for him. He's doing everything in his power. As the field catches back up, we'll take a look at the second caution. Whoa! We got cars sliding. The seven. The uh, whoa! Cars stacking up. Whoa! Okay. Nothing. Nothing too serious. They do, they do the times when they stack up after a caution. So everybody should be all right. The 07 is your race leader. Let's take a look at the second caution of the day. Oh, here's what happened. The 51 Gloria Cruz race in four wide with the 47, the 04, and the 19. And the 51 goes up, hits the 47, who hits the 04, who hits the 19. The 04 loses it. They head up the track. Hard into the outside wall, and Torres goes flying in the air. There we go. Better camera angle. Wow. Then Torres comes back across the track in front of Kelly Lee. And... Kelly Lee... Got some damage right there. And here comes Tackle White Line, the gray car that's approaching them. Kelly Lee pulls to the right. Right in the path of the 34. Wow. White Lion trying to win back-to-back -back races. It's not going to happen. The 04 is flipping. Aiden Shepard, who won at Talladega earlier in the season, has not had the results he's wanted for the past uh, few races. I just realized there's no smoke. I forgot to turn it on because I did a another. I did a 1964 race earlier in the, on the dirt track, and I take the smoke off. Uh, so I forgot about that. <coughs> Torres flipped. Aiden Shepard flip. And there comes White Line again. Bam, right into the 99. Well, Aiden Shepard is still on his roof. And 
and Noah Cards and Jonathan Reigns, who are running in the very back because of their damage they got in the wreck earlier, uh, avoid. And the 0-4 lands back on all four wheels, while White Lion is done for the day, more than likely. Well, that's it for the second caution. Take it back to the restart. And we are back. The 4 broke a camshaft. That's why she's out. The 19, the 34, the 99 are all out of the race due to their uh, wreck on the back stretch. The 64, Jonathan Reigns, uh, he was involved in the pileup as we were you know, getting the caution as we were catching back up. Reigns uh, ran into the back of another car, damaged the radiator. So, Jonathan Reigns uh, is out of the race and will not win the championship. He led a good majority of the uh, standings this season, but toward the later half, he could not string together good enough runs, and Jonathan Reigns will finish 36th and will not be our champion. So, we got a... Uh, we're down to 7 now, mathematically. Reigns is out. The 07, TJ Hanley is our race leader. Second is Chris Kyle. Third is Ebola Wonderly. Fourth, Chuddle. Fifth, Daniel Bouchard. Sixth, Jesse Turner. Seventh, DJ Curtis. Eighth, Gloria Tucker. Ninth, Mike Pearson. And tenth, Brian Fox. So we will not have a back to back race winner, which uh, we have not had a back to back winner all season long. We've had a different winner. Every race. Well, I mean, you know, different, different. Not at, not in, not as in a different person. Because Chip Roberts won three races this season, and Bulldog won two. Several others won multiple times. Heading off in turn one, the 68 wants to lead. The 68 is eligible for the championship, so she wants to have a good run. Cole Nixley in the 27. Our place leader is back in 16th. And her most, her closest challenger now is Matt Johnson. And Johnson is in 19th. So, the championship is still wide open. Here comes a 71 of Chuddle. Looking to score his second win in the last three races. He won at Martinsville. He dominated, led all 50 laps. Looking for career win number 21. DJ Curtis moves in the second place in that number 48 car. Oh, he goes high. Here comes the 24 of Mike Pearson. Uh, Pearson has not won in this uh, season. He's having a good run now to the low side. 24 leads a lap. Laps are winding down. Nine laps to go. Next time, bye. Pearson blocks the seven. Up oh, there he is. There's Matt Johnson. In the 36 Coca-Cola car. He's in front of Cole Nixley. Not by that many spots, though. We got intense race. Oh, no! Brian Fox, the 5. The 07. The 48. The 71. Oh, wow. We got two championship contenders involved. We're racing it back. Matt Johnson. He needs to lead this lap to start up front. He goes down the block. Matt Johnson will be our race leader as we head back. When you, when you go back to racing. 0-7, TJ Hanley doing everything in his power to try and win. He, uh... He's been up front all day long, got involved. Brian Fox as well. Oh, wow. This is going to stick. Oh, we got 
70, 28, 7. 76, 21. I hate when it does that. 36, Matt Johnson is your race leader. We'll take a look at the third caution. This is the best view I could find on Fox. Let's see, DJ Curtis hits the 5 and also hits the 18. At the same time, there's a crash back there. Curtis hard into the wall, so does the 71, and they just fly into the air. Josh Barker as well, DJ Curtis, Chuttle goes a flipping, so does the 48. I've never seen cars just fly up into the air like that. Chuttle trying to win, like I said, his third race, I mean his second race in the last three races, he ain't going to win now. DJ Curtis tried to win his second as well. Brian Fox trying to get a championship. Oh, he had Chuddle land right on top of him. Fox is heavily damaged. Now, we also had a little wreck behind. This one right here, the 07 of TJ Hanley. Gets clipped by the 57. And there we go. 07 goes flying in the air. So does the 57, just a little bit. 68 goes by, championship contender. 57 got damaged, 07, and then there's Chuttle and Curtis flipping, and Fox again. Josh Barker keeps on going. Championship implications. Once again, two more have uh, been bitten. The 07 and the 18. I'm not sure if uh, any of those two cars will be out. Maybe, maybe Curtis, maybe Fox. He did flip a little bit. Maybe the 07, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll get things uh, resetted, and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We're going to get the green with four laps to go. The 48, the 71, and the 5 are all out of the race. Brian Fox and the 18 and the 07 of TJ Hanley, they are both still on track, trying to gain as many spots as they can. Matt Johnson is your race leader. Second is Gloria Tucker. Third is Matt Mike Pearson. Fourth, J.T. Hanley. Fifth, Tommy Hudson. Sixth, Colin Schley. Seventh, George Hill. Eighth, Gabriel Wonderly. Ninth, Jay Barker. And tenth, Riley Spurley, too. Cole Nixley, who is running in sixth spot. Uh, his closest championship rival now is still Matt Johnson, who is leading. Johnson came in 66 points behind. If Cole Nixley finishes right here, I do not believe he will lose the championship. Don't guarantee me on that. I'm just guessing. We'll tally up the points, of course, after this. The winner will receive 150 points. So, you can probably figure it out better than I can right now. Pace car is in. If you get another caution, the race will be over. So, Matt Johnson leads him to the green. The race and the championship is on the line. You have to go now. Mike Pearson battling for second. Cole Nixley has gained two spots. Back up front, Matt Johnson. Oh. He might get passed by Mike Pearson. Cole Nixley's trying to go for third. Matt Johnson does not need this. Cole Nixley trying to go for second now. He wants to get double trophies. Oh, about the bottom over here comes Jordan Bell. Three-way battle for third. I mean, for second, excuse me. One small mistake could cost you the championship. Four wide for fourth. Now three wide for fourth. 
Mike Pearson pulls away a little bit. Cole Nixley to the high side. Mike Pearson in the 24. He has two laps to go. Looking for his first win in this series. It, career, I have no clue. Probably. Yep, here comes the 30. Jesse Turner being pushed by Colin Dryberg. We're going to get the white flag next time by. Can we make it? Roland Chavez on the 25. Trying to make it three wide for second. He completes the pass. Oh. Okay. I thought they... I thought I saw a car spin. No, I was wrong. Oh, this is getting intense. Turner blocks the low lane. Our championship rivals are still on the high side. Jesse Turner leads them to the white flag last lap. One lap to go. Who's going to win the race? Who's going to win the championship? Turner goes high to block. Chavez goes down to block the low lane. Down the back stretch for the final time. Ben Love at Irvine with a push from the 8 car. Turner blocks the high side. He blocks a low lane. Fitzwater getting a push from Chris Kyle. Turner goes high. Fitzwater goes low. It's going to be a drag race. I believe it'll be the A. Zachary Fitzwater wins at Texas World. Wow, we had a last lap pass again. Wow, that was amazing. He barely got Turner. And where did our uh, championship contenders finish? Uh, Johnson finished 19th. Cole Nixley finished 20th. I believe uh, Nixley will get it. Well, Daniel Bouchard finished 12th. Well, we'll take a look at it. First, we'll take a look at the uh, finish, and then we'll take a look at the results, and we'll see who won the championship. Okay, here's the finish again. Zachary Fitzwater, he was all the way back in 15th spot coming to the white flag. He got a great push from Chris Kyle, and... Turner went to the high side to block uh, Benoit Love at Irvine. And Fitzwater, he just got a push from Chris Kyle on that last turn. And he went to the low lane. Which the low lane is faster than the high lane, of course. You know, since it's the shortest way around. And check this out. We have another photo finish. Both drivers going for their second one of the season. And there you have it. By almost half a car length. Fitzwater got him. There's no doubt about that, but that was very close. Well, that's the finish. Let's take a look at your results. And here are your race results. Zachary Fitzwater scores the win by 37 tenths of a second. Third, Chris Kyle. Fourth, Ben Olive at Irvine. Fifth, Joseph Curtis. Sixth, Roland Chavez. Seventh, Chip Roberts. Eighth, Oria Centaur. Ninth, Riley Spurley Tube. And tenth, Jordan Bell. Our best championship contender, Daniel Bouchard, finished twelfth. I do not believe, however, that'll give him the championship. Cole Nixley finished twentieth. Matt Johnson, 19th. It's going to be close. But I think Cole will get the uh, title, I believe. Rest of your race results, we had 32 drivers finish the race. Brian Fox, the last car on the lead lap. Yeah, because he was involved in those wrecks. TJ Hanley was able to move up to 25th. So, Hanley was able to gain some spots. Fox, his car was too damaged. I don't think he's going to win the title. But he tried. Everybody out was due to Rex, aside from the four of Need HPK, who was out due to a camshaft problem. And Jonathan Reigns, disappointing championship run. Got taken out 
in a wreck. Sebastian Torres as well. A winless season. Yeah. Well, that's it for Texas World. We'll take you to Victory Lane, and then we'll see who our Season 3 champion is. Here are your point standings after the Texas World Race, the last race of the season. I was right. Cole Nixley is officially your Season 3 SCRL NASCAR Legends Series champion. Cole Nixley won the title by 54 points over Noah Cars. Matt Johnson. Okay, let's see. Cole Nixley had no wins, 7 top 5s, 10 top 10s. Noah Cars finished 2nd, 54 points back. No wins. Four top five, seven top tens. Matt Johnson finished third. One win, four top five, seven top tens, 63 points back. Daniel Bouchard gained three spots in the last race, up to fourth. He had no wins, four top fives, eight top tens. He was 105 points back. Fifth, Brian Fox. He lost the spot. One win, seven top fives, 12 top tens. He was 108 points back. Sixth, Evil of Wonderly, no wins, four top fives, eight top tens, 111 points back. Seventh, Jonathan Reigns, he lost two spots. Of course, he's involved in that accident. He had one win, six top five, ten top tens, 146 points back. Eighth, TJ Hanley, no wins, four top fives, eight top tens, 152 points back. Ninth, Zachary Fitzwater, he gained five spots with that win. So he went from outside the top 10 to inside the top 10. So he gets the top 10 uh, points finish. He had two wins, six top fives, nine top 10s, 164 points back. 10th, Chris Kyle, one win, five top fives, 10 top 10s. 11th, Del Garrison, no wins, seven top fives, 11 top 10s. 12th was Truddle, one win, one top five, 10 top 10s. 13th, Jesse Turner, who got beat by Zachary Fitzwater in the last race. One win. That was at Charlotte. Uh, four top fives. Eleven top tens. Fourteenth, Gloria Tucker, who gained one spot in the last race. No wins. No top fives. Six top tens. Fifteenth, Richard Torres. No wins. Two top fives. Eight top tens. Sixteenth, Jordan Bell. One win. Three top five. Six top tens. Sebastian Torres, who finished dead last in the Texas World Race. No wins. Three top fives. Seven top tens. 18th, Kaka White Lion. One win. Two top fives. Seven top tens. 19th, Bulldog 67, our defending uh, champion. He had two wins. Five top fives. Six top tens. 20th, Jay Barker. One win. Four top fives. Six top tens. Need HPK, 21st. No wins. Three top fives, five top tens. Twenty second, Benoit Lovett Irvine, one win at Darlington, four top fives, seven top tens. Twenty third, Roland Chavez, one win, three top fives, six top tens. Twenty uh, fourth, Gabriel Wonderly, no wins, two top fives, four top tens. Twenty fifth, Venice Nunez, no wins, two top fives, seven top tens. Twenty sixth, Riley Spurley Tube, no wins. Two top fives, four top tens. 27, Aiden Shepard, one win at Talladega. Three top fives, six top tens. 28, Chip Roberts, who dominated short tracks. He had three wins, and those three wins were his only top five finishes. And he also had six top tens. 29th, Ding Drinker, two wins, six top fives, seven top tens. 30th was DJ Curtis, one win, Four top fives, six top tens. 31st, Oria Centaur, one win, one top five, four top tens. 32nd, Joseph Curtis, one win, four top fives, six top tens. 33rd, Josh Barker, no wins, two top fives, five top tens. TJ Hanley, I mean, excuse me, JT Hanley, no wins, no top fives, and only two 
top tens. 35th, Colin Dryberg. Yeah, he's way back in points. Was not able to uh, have a lot of good runs despite winning the very first race. And that was his only win at Riverside. Uh, three top fives, five top tens. As we go to the rest of these standings, 36th, Mike Pearson, no wins, one top five, three top tens. 37th, Rosa De Silva, no wins, one top five, two top tens. 38th, Kelly Lee, one win, two top fives, four top tens. Nick Productions, no wins, three top fives, four top tens. 40th, Evan Rudd, no wins, one top five, four top tens. 41st, Tommy Hudson, no wins, one top five, two top tens. And finishing dead last in the point standings is Cam Nixley with one win, two top fives, and four top tens. As we go now to the rest of the, uh, you know, stats. The driver with the most wins was, of course, Chip Roberts with three. Bulldog 67, Dean Drinker, and Zachary Fitzwater both had, had all had two. Aiden Shepard with one. The most top fives, Brian Fox, Cole Nixley, and Del Garrison with seven. Ding Drinker and, Ta- and Jonathan Rains with six. Most top tens, Brian Fox with the most with 12. Del Garrison, Jesse Turner with 11. Chris Kyle, Cole Nixley with 10. Most polls, that it doesn't really matter because, you know, it's, it's at random. Most laps completed, Ebola Wonderly, 887. Noah Cars, 880. TJ Hanley, 872. Daniel Bouchard, 857. And Brian Fox, 855. The driver who led the most laps, DJ Curtis, with 69. Chris Kyle was second with 60. Brian Fox, third with 54. Chuddle, 53. Chip Roberts, 50. Most miles completed. Ebola Wonderly with 988. Daniel Bouchard, 971. Noah Cars, 969. Uh, Brian Fox, 962. And Matt Johnson, 945. Now for the general stats. Our fastest average race was Alabama or Talladega Super Speedway. That was 178.400 miles per hour. Our winner... Hidden Shepard. The slowest average was Bowman Gray Stadium, of course. 47.247 miles per hour. Our winner, Chip Roberts. The biggest margin of victory. That was Riverside. Uh, who won that race? I don't, Ding Dringer, I believe, won that race, didn't he? Yes, he did. Sorry, I had to look at my stats. I was supposed to be prepared. The closest margin of victory was Michigan International Speedway. Yeah, that was a close race. The fastest pole, slowest pole is the same thing. It might show it up on here, but it was at random, totally. Most lead changes. The World 600 with 30. Yeah, that was a very competitive race. Most leaders. The same thing. World 600 at Charlotte. 24 of the 42 drivers led at least one lap. The most yellows. uh, The America 500 at North Carolina. That was 9 Caution flags. Yeah, that was a lot of cautions. Most cars running. Michigan, four, all 42 cars finished that race. And the most DNFs, Bristol, with 26 drivers out of the race. Yeah, Bristol is always a wreck fest. So that completes Season 3. Of the SCRL NASCAR Legend Series. Once again, congratulations goes to Cole Nixley and the whole 27 team for becoming the Season 3 SCRL NASCAR Legend Series champion. So that is it for this series. I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like you know, this video if you like the series. And, well, if you didn't, I don't know what more you, you could want. We had a lot of leaders, a lot of lead changes, a lot of different winners. And in the final race, we had eight drivers competing for the championship. So that'll be it. We will see you in the next series, whichever we do.